In the new year, some of the same old problems in the land after several car break-ins this week, and in some cases, guns were stolen. West News' Claire Metz reports the police chief says people are making too easy for thieves to get their hands on guns. There were nearly a dozen car burglaries overnight Tuesday alone. Credit and debit cards taken, cash, other valuables. But most frustrating for the chief, guns. All of the vehicles were entered through unlocked doors. DeLand Police Chief Jason Umberger says the simple act of locking cars, trucks, will deter 99% of burglars. In most cases, says the chief, thieves try door handles and move on if the vehicles are locked. But in this recent rash of car breaks, one or more suspects got in and, among other things, stole weapons that are now out on the streets. These guns are out there. They're normally stolen, and they get moved around to the criminal element, and they use these guns to perpetrate crimes of violence. There were four shootings into land in November of last year, one of them fatal. Police, working with the sheriff's office, formed a task force to make arrests, get guns off the street, and now more are out there. They got his gun you know, out of his vehicle. Gerald Hubert says his son was one of the recent car burglary victims. Thieves got his gun. He believes his son, people in general, have a false sense of security, but that gets shattered when it happens to you. He lost his gun. He knows now. You know, he should. You know. And he'll keep it locked from now on, the vehicle? I think he will. The chief says at the very least, if people do leave valuables in vehicles, make sure they're out of sight and the vehicle's locked. He does not advise ever leaving weapons, even in locked vehicles. In Deland, Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News. In addition to stolen items, including guns, police say thieves also took ammunition and a scope for a weapon.